Hello, it's Dr. Hogg for Prime Aesthetics. Today we're talking about retinoids. What are retinoids? Retinoids are closely related to vitamin A, which is an important uh, compound for a healthy immune system, healthy eyes, and the integrity of the skin. So what do they do? Retinoids have several important effects. In particular, they affect the keratinization of the skin. What does that mean? So this is where keratin proteins form within the skin cells to make them waterproof as they migrate towards the surface. Retinoids also affect the production of sebum, which is the oily substance that keeps the surface of our skin greasy. So what do we use retinoids for? Uh, retinoids are used for a variety of medical purposes. Um, they were first used in the 1970s to treat acne, but a happy side effect of that original treatment was that people noticed they seemed to reduce the appearance of fine lines and sunspots. Um, and it did that by increasing the production of collagen. However, it took six to 12 months before these results were noticed. And that's why retinoids are so popular in creams today. In the case of acne, retinoids affect the formation of comedones. What are comedones? Comedones are blocked skin pores. When the pore is open and the surface is oxidized, we call it a blackhead. Uh, it's got nothing to do with hygiene. When the surface is closed, we call it a whitehead. Um, topical retinoids are comedolytic, they're anti-inflammatory, and they inhibit the formation of microcomedones, which are the precursor to acne lesions. So do they have any side effects? As with any medication, they can cause problems. Skin irritation, particularly with medical grade treatments, uh, which are a bit more potent, they can cause blistering of the skin, they can cause dryness, they can cause crusting, peeling, and temporary changes of the skin pigmentation. And um, particularly with sensitive skin types, um, you would want to use the cream less frequently so instead of using it every day for example you might use it on alternate nights or you might use a less powerful cream uh, uh, with a lower concentration. Um, increasing skin sensitivity to light as well so if you're being exposed to sunlight you might find that it causes a bit of skin irritation and you might need to use a sunblock. So that's it for me for today. Prime is back, we're taking bookings, we'd love to see you there. Bye for now.